He is the last survivor of the Kurta clan. He vowed to recover the remaining scarlet eyes that were taken from them and take revenge on the killers of his clan. Now a blacklist hunter, the chain bastard, Kurapika. I am the Martin and today we're going to unbox and review Van Presto's Hunter Hunter statue of Kurapika. So are you ready? Then welcome to the Markverse. No way! Capture phase is complete. A couple of weeks ago, I unboxed and reviewed Van Presto's Gone in Kilua from the Hunter Hunter anime. Today is the time of Kurapika. As I said before, Hunter Hunter is in my top 5 list of my favorite anime of all time. And because of this, I always enjoyed unboxing their statues. There is an upcoming Van Presto statues of Liorio, who is my favorite, Chloro Lucilfer, Hisoka, and Illumi Soldi. I am excited for all of this. Let us now connect Kurapika. It has four parts. His right hand with the chains. His entire body. The base and the flight connector. Let's connect these two first. Then let's insert his hand to his wrist. The socket on his wrist has a shape for you to correctly put the hand. I guess it's secured. Then the connector to his butt. So here is the statue. Kurapika is both a conjurer and a specialist. His main weapon is the chains he conjures on each of the fingers of his right hand. This means he has five types of chains. Since this is connected to his middle finger and also has a hook at the end, then it's called the chain jail. This is bendable, which is good. It won't be that fragile. The chain itself shows the personality of Korapika in terms of fighting because the chain could trap the whole body of his opponent, making them impossible to move. Now I'm definitely sure that this statue was based on his fight with Vogin. He used the chain jail to trap him. It seems they got the face correctly, though they should have put some dark shading to his hair because it's too yellow compared to the anime. He usually wears the Kurta clan traditional costume, but when he fought Vogin, he removed that suit and this is what was inside. Actually, one of the things I like about Van Presto is the accuracy of their design and his costume is accurate to the said fight from the anime. Some parts are also a little soft, which mitigate breakage. It's like rubber. The materials used for this seems to be durable. That's really how Van Presto creates them regardless of what show they are from. Very nice design. But I'm still going to purchase Kurapika with his traditional costume if Van Presto decides to create one. For the measurement, he is seven and a half inches tall. Let's compare him with Gon and Kilua. I'm very happy with this collection. I also wanted the non-fighting pose for this tree and also for Liorio. So, if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to push that notification button since I publish new videos every week. Again, I am the Markman. Thank you for visiting the Markverse. And always remember, 
to pay forward with kindness.